among the cities of Canada is Ottawa, the capital of the nation, the official place of residence of the Governor General, the seat of the Dominion Parliament, and the mecca of royal visitors, ambassadors, statesmen, and notables from all parts of the empire and beyond. From every point of view, Ottawa is dominated by the splendid Gothic pile of buildings that stand like everlasting sentinels on the summit of Parliament Hill. The center block housing the Senate and House of Commons is the hub of the government of Canada, a dominion embracing nine provinces covering more than three and a half million square miles of territory. War has always been the molder of nations, and it was war, an almost forgotten war of the long ago that was responsible in no small measure for the present location of the capital city of British North America. For it was the difficulties experienced in transporting men and supplies from Montreal up the St. Lawrence River to Kingston during the American invasion of 1812 that led the authorities to seek a more protected route. The route decided upon was that of the Ottawa River and its tributaries, and this made necessary the building of the Rideau Canal. Colonel John By of the Royal Engineers was the officer in charge of the undertaking. Today, a simple memorial marks the scene of his efforts, a monument located near the junction of the Rideau Canal and the Ottawa River, in the very shadow of Connaught Place, a busy hub in the pulsating heart of a thriving city. Situated in the center of the city is the Union Station, the terminus of three railroads. Also fronting the plaza and lending a cosmopolitan note to a metropolitan city is the impressive Hotel Chateau Laurier, which rises like a, like a French chateau on the edge of the historic Rideau Canal and commands a magnificent view of the capital and of the blue Laurentians that provide a natural playground for lovers of the great outdoors. With 207 industries located in the capital, Ottawa ranks among the first seven cities of the Dominion. But politically, Ottawa is Canada's most important city, for here the administration of the nation is carried on under the watchful eye of the Prime Minister and the members of his cabinet from their offices in the dignified buildings that form a background for Parliament Hill and combine to create a setting of rare and exquisite beauty. The new Confederation building contains government departments whose activities are concerned with agriculture, industry and labor. Science is represented by the National Research Council, where experiments are constantly being conducted to improve Canada's well-being and high standard of living. The Victoria Memorial Museum and the National Art Gallery contain the most important collections of art, anthropology and mineralogy in Canada. The Parliamentary Library, one of the finest examples of Gothic architecture, contains nearly half a million books and pamphlets dealing with subjects of national interest. Another subject of national interest is the Royal Mint, from whence come the coppers and five and ten cent pieces, and the larger silver coins that most people seem to prefer. Here, currency of the country is fabricated from metals mined in the great ore districts of the Canadian North. For lovers of history, the Dominion Archives is the realization of a collector's paradise, for within these walls are many priceless documents pertaining to Canadian events, dating from the 16th century to the present time. The Dominion Observatory has its share in the scheme of things by supplying first-hand information pertaining to the weather. The experimental farm contributes to the national welfare by devising ways and means of increasing the productivity of the earth. Invaluable to the farmer, this branch of the government service has contributed much to the prosperity of Canada's rural regions. Even the cultivation of flowers is studied in minute detail, and the blooms that grace this colorful section of Ottawa are evidence of the successful efforts of the scientific horticulturists of the experimental farm.
As a fitting background for Ottawa's impressive architecture, the citizens of the capital city have been unstinting in their efforts to reflect the spirit of beauty in the grounds surrounding their homes. Inviting lawns have been cultivated with skill and patience, and the result is even more enchanting than an artist's dream. In Ottawa, people live in homes and not in houses. Each structure reflects a spirit of contentment which is sometimes lacking in the castles of monarchs. Thus, Ottawa has devised the formula for living in the true sense of the word. Winding through scenes of restful beauty, cutting a scenic pathway through the heart of the city is the historic Rideau Canal. It seems strange that war was the mother of this waterway and that it was built for the transportation of guns and troops to spread disaster upon the face of the earth. Fortunately, the nations of North America were soon to realize the futility of armed conflict and the mutual advantages of being good neighbors, with the result that the Rideau Canal has never been called upon to fulfill the purpose of its building. Situated near the residential section of Rockcliffe is Rideau Hall, the official residence and the scene of the social activities of Canada's Governor General. Garden parties are the highlights of the summer social season in the extensive grounds of Rideau Hall. Here, statesmen and diplomats join representatives of church and society to pay their respects to the king's representative. On the other side of the town, it's Gala Day. At the Central Canada Exhibition, all Ottawa turns out for a holiday of gaiety and laughter and perspiration on the giddy, breathtaking rides of the Midway. On a diet of hot dogs, French fried potatoes, and baking soda, with the odd dill pickle thrown in for luck, life becomes a merry whirl of youth and age that ranges all the way from six to 60. In this medley of mad motion, the voices of the barkers are lost in the din and the clatter of mechanical contraptions that only man in his most fantastic moments could have devised. Ottawa has always been famous for the wholehearted way in which its people engage in outdoor sports. Tennis clubs are found in every corner of the city and their numbers are increasing rapidly as the popularity of the sport grows by leaps and bounds. The adjacent rivers and lakes afford every possible facility for those who like to enjoy aquatic sports. Speedboats have their faithful followers the broad Ottawa River offers an ideal course for this fast and furious sport. But there are many others, less animated by the driving urge of action, who are content to drift in the lap of beauty. To these appreciative souls, Ottawa has a thousand diversions, including 27 parks and 35 miles of scenic driveway. Here, the visitor is impressed by the peaceful atmosphere and the rare charm of this unusual city that has survived the inroads of a commercial and a hurried age. And towering over it all, like a Greek goddess, is the Peace Tower, gracing the heights of Parliament Hill, a tall, slender spire that symbolizes the blessings of a world apart from conflict, that speaks of a promised era yet to come, when man will scrap his instruments of death and learn to live. 